let's start with second question of physics and mathematics so it says let a and b be two vectors of magnitude 10 unit each so vector a is given that is 10 and b is given that is 10 again now they said if they are inclined to the x-axis at angles 30 degree and 60 degree respectively so we need to find the resultant so again we need to make a simple diagram for it so this is x now a is at 30 degree angle a then it says angle b makes angle b makes 60 degree so it is total angle here is 60 and angle between a and b is 60 minus 30 that is 30 degree so theta is 30 degree here now we need to find the resultant vector again so the resultant vector in this case will be under root under root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta so a square is nothing but 10 square b square is 10 square again twice of 10 into 10 then we have cos theta so 30 degree is the angle between a and b so i will write cos 30 degree then we have 10 square that is 100 10 square again 100 so we have total as 200 under root plus 2 into 10 into 10 is 200 now we need to put the value of cos 30 and that is under root 3 over 2 and we can cut down 2 with 200 so we get 100 under root 3 so when you solve this whole equation that is when you add this and when you do under root of it you get answer as 19.32 units so the resultant vector is 19.32 units now as you can see the vectors are have equal magnitude so the resultant bisects the angle theta between them so angle between resultant and vector a is 30 over 20 30 over 2 that is half of 30 so 15 degree the angle between resultant and vector a this is the angle between resultant and vector a now we need to find the angle between resultant and x axis so angle between resultant and x axis will be 15 degree that we get between resultant and angle a plus we need to write the angle between the vectors that is 30 degree so 15 plus 30 is 45 degree so we can write the answer as 20 20 is the resultant vector then you can write cos 15 cos 15 degree we can write then unit at 45 degree with 45 degree unit at 45 degree at x-axis so this is the total answer for this question and that's all for second number